Hey mamas, today's video is a little bit different. I wanna share with you 10 things I do not buy or have not. It's not 10, it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven things, seven things I do not buy or have not bought along our 12 year homeschool journey. You are a frugal homeschooling mom, which I don't know that I would necessarily say I was in every season, but I have been. And I am more frugal right now than I've ever been in our journey because you live and you learn a little bit, right? And also seasons, ages, it's easier to be frugal when my boys are older and their hobbies and interests look very different. This video is merely seven things, seven popular things that a lot of homeschool families do that we do not do, seven things they buy that we have not bought. I hope it encourages you. I wanna say, because I think I have to say this because I know there's always gonna be misinterpretation or um, twisted thoughts. I want you to know, this is our homeschool and our family, so please know my heart in sharing this. There is absolutely no shame if you do any of this and you enjoy them and your kids love them and you're thriving. That is incredible. This is just our family, my three boys, the things they love, the things they're interested in, and what we have and haven't done. So keep that in mind as I'm sharing this. Please do not feel guilty about anything. Please do not feel like I'm comparing, I'm not, it's simply, I just wanna tell you, like there are ways to do this if we are like-minded mamas with like-minded boys or kids, um, there are ways to do it a little bit different. And some of the things, if you're a new homeschool mom, okay? If you're a new homeschool mom, this is an encouragement for the simple fact that you do not have to buy and do or do all the things. So hear me out on this, okay? First thing I wanna talk about, Music lessons, and this is a big, huge thing among homeschoolers, so I want you to know, listen up for a second. We have not ever done music lessons in our homeschool. Am I super proud about that? No, because I do see the value and understand incredible, immense value, learning skills, like lifelong stuff, right? I know how good taking music lessons are for your brain, for your mind, for your memory, for everything. We just have never done it. And I don't really have a reason why. I have a guitar that I borrowed from my sister in my closet because as a 36 year old woman, I told myself I wanted to learn how to play the guitar, which I still do. My oldest child also wanted to learn. So we tried on our own, but we've never done lessons. Super music-y family. Nobody really plays any instruments in our family that they can just go and learn from. So that's where we are with that. I would love to do them. It's not that I haven't wanted to. It's not that it wasn't of anyone's interest because it is, we just, haven't ever done it. I wanna talk about art. I know there are a lot of art subscription boxes. We have not ever done them. We do not pay for art lessons. We have never done any like specific art curriculum. We just haven't done that. My kids, two of them specifically, love to draw. They love to paint. We get on YouTube and they pull up something from Art Hub, Art Kids Hub, something like that. There's one specifically, I'll, I'll link it down below because I. I get their name mixed up. But love the Draw Right Now books. I'll also link them down below because they are a simple way to get some of that art in. Um, they've done art at co-op, but it's never been like curriculum based, right? We've never purchased any boxes. We've never sought after a specific curriculum that will teach and instruct them in art. It's just kind of been always left up to their own creativity. We pull up a YouTube we pull up a YouTube channel. My boys sit up their little desks out here. They get out the markers, the paper, the um, watercolors, all the things, and they will draw things. And they're very good at it and they love it. The next two things are kind of funny and kind of silly, but if you watch any, well, most homeschool moms at the beginning of a new year, they will share like must-haves. I've done it too. I'm guilty of doing it. And these two things, okay, that I have not purchased in 12 years of homeschooling, a coil binder, Okay, and a laminator. Now this does not mean that you do not need them. It doesn't mean that you don't enjoy them. It doesn't mean that you should get rid of them. It's simply, I have never purchased them. I've never found a need. Next thing I wanna share that we have not bought ever, and I'm not saying that we won't, but up to this point, we have never paid for lessons of any kind. And I mean, any kind, we've never paid for horseback riding lessons, music lessons. Um, let's see, what else? What do we have? Like motorcycle riding lessons, um, all the different kinds of lessons and extra things. 
that you can pay for. We have not ever purchased anything of that sort or paid for anything of that sort. It just hasn't been a need. It hasn't been an interest. If it was an interest, we would do that, which my youngest is speaking maybe of wanting to do horseback riding lessons at some point. We don't actually have a horse, but he has this longing desire to do that. So we very well may do that because he just recently has spoken of interest for that. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll kind of see how that one pans out. But up to this point, we have not done anything extra in that scope or sequence. Like my boys love what they love. They do what they love. And we've really never dove off, you know, in any direction, kind of just pretty solid right where they're at. So that's what we do. And that's where we put our time and energy and um, resources into. I've got two more for you. Let's talk about, um, I don't want to say screens, but uh, gaming systems. Okay. And this is not just homeschool but in our home. I know there are a lot of mamas sometimes that will use um, gaming systems, like I'll just say Minecraft or something of that effect, in their homeschool for extra skills, gaming and doing all the things. We do not have a gaming system. We do not play video games. That's just something we don't allow in our home for many reasons that I could go on a whole nother tangent for as a whole nother video. I don't think really much needs to be said, but it's just our home, our rules. We don't have gaming systems. We don't allow gaming systems the way it has always been in our home. I don't plan on changing that at any point in time whatsoever. I see no value in it at all. So pretty strong and opinionated about that one. No games, no gaming systems, uh, no platforms of any kind. We don't even have a tablet or something for them to do. Like we have an Alexa that they'll play music. We have a TV that when it's family time, or they want some free time, they can watch something on TV, but that's literally it as far as screens and um, time for games in our home. The very last thing I want to share with you, I look at it as more of a personal preference thing, right? So keep in mind, I'm going to be homeschooling a 10th grader, an 8th grader, and a 5th grader. So my kids are older. What we do not purchase in our home are mega bundles. We all see a lot of those things advertised and a lot of them shared and a lot of mamas put so much effort and energy into these mega, bu mega bundles and they are incredible and they use them and learn so many things and do so many incredible activities with them. And I see the value in that. Most of them are geared towards younger children and my kids are older. I had to stop buying those mega bundles. It was a season where I did do extra printables and extra like unit studies and things on top of what we were already doing, extra bundles, that type of thing. And I just got to where it was too much and we never used it. Great intentions, great ideas. My heart behind it was good. I wanna support these mamas. I wanna use this stuff in my home. I wanna get outside the box and do things in nature and outside of all the things. However, I realized that I was spending money on these things and like nine and a half times out of 10, we would do like one sheet of paper in them and then not touch the rest. And for me, I can't justify that. I can't justify buying this thing, printing it all out, getting all the books from the library, all the effort and energy for it to just sit in a folder and not get used. So I had to cut the strings on buying the extras, the extra things, unless it's something I'm super passionate about. And I'm not talking big unit studies. Like we are a unit study family. That's We thrive on unit studies. We love unit studies. They changed our life. They changed our homeschool. Unit studies for us are gold. This is like the extra bundles and the things that you see that are really geared towards younger kids most of the time. Truly, there are so many things at the drop of a hat that we can purchase to bring into our homes and into our homeschools. And I really try to be intentional about those and not just flippantly buying them because I think they look beautiful and I think I might use them because I've learned a little bit about myself and that process is it all looks great, grand, and wonderful. But by the time I get it in my home and I print it, are we actually going to use it? Are we following through and am I being a good steward of my time and my money and my resources? Most of the time, I don't know if that would be true with the extras and the fluff and all the things that we like to add on to what we're already doing in our homeschool. So just simply seven things that we do not buy or do not do in our homeschool. It's more of a simple and more frugal homeschool family. And again, if the interest was there, if they wanted to do some of these things, if they had a desire to do them, that would change everything, right? But because it's not there, we're just not spending money on those things. And I think that's a great thing. And if the interest arises, 
this video will be different, obviously, but for now, that's what I have for you in today's video. Simple form of encouragement in truly the beauty that we have to homeschool and bring in resources and let go of resources and add in lessons and take away lessons and cater to our kids' interests and desires. Um, such a beautiful thing to be able to do that. So, and if you're a new homeschool mama, be encouraged by this. You don't have to have all the bright, beautiful, fancy, shiny things in order to homeschool your children well. That includes a homeschool room, which we don't have. We do not have a homeschool room. We do not even homeschool in a specific place in our home. We move about our home. We move about our space. And that's what we do and how we've always, always done this homeschool thing. See you in our next video. Bye.